Well everyone, it's time for us to go ahead and take a look at the iPhone 14 Pro Max and compare it against the iPhone 11 Pro Max and see which one is the better one for you. Now obviously, if you have all the money in the world, go for the 14 Pro Max, this is going to be the better one in pretty much every single area. But the 11 Pro Max is still a very good phone, I love this phone a lot, and let's go and see how they compare. If you want to pick up either one of these phones, the links will be down in the description. You can get them from there and you can help support the channel at the same time. Now side by side, you can definitely tell, or you may not even be able to tell that there's a few differences between both. Now on the iPhone 11 Pro Max, we have a 6.5 inch Super Retina OLED display, and it was a pretty good panel, you know? I didn't really have too many complaints about this specific phone when it first came out, and I still think it holds up very, very well. Is it perfect? Not really, but you still have the notch, you still have a pretty good display, but we are lacking some things that the 14 Pro Max has, or even the 13 Pro Max. We don't have ProMotion on this phone, which kind of makes it feel a little bit outdated, but regardless, I think this is still a very capable screen. On the iPhone 14 Pro Max, on the other hand, we have a bigger 6.7 inch Super Retina XDR OLED panel. Now, the big thing to keep in mind, in my opinion, is that the iPhone 14 Pro Max it has a ProMotion display and it has a dynamic island display. But coming from the iPhone 11 Pro Max, we're also getting flat sides on the iPhone 14 Pro Max, which is nice. There's overall less bezel around the display as well on the iPhone 14 Pro Max, which is cool. And it's an overall better panel for sure. So this is a much better display. I like it a lot and it holds up much better than the iPhone 11 Pro Max in this day and age. As well as the flat sides, in my opinion, it is a better look when you have a phone like the iPhone 14 Pro Max in this day and age. The 11 Pro Max still feels very premium, but it does feel not as premium as the iPhone 14 Pro Max. But we are getting that SIM card tray on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. I think it's on the other side, but on the 14 Pro Max, we are no longer getting a SIM card tray, which is very unfortunate. Now on the back, we are getting triple camera setups on both with frosted glass backs on both as well. Now just take a look at how much bigger the camera sensor is on the iPhone 14 Pro Max than on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. It is crazy. It's like twice the size and it's also like twice the thickness as well if you look at it from this angle. So it's definitely a much better lens. It's a much bigger lens and you're also getting that LiDAR sensor too which is really nice. Now you're getting MagSafe capability on the 14 Pro Max. You do not have that on the 11 Pro Max. You're getting IP certification on both though and you're still getting a very good you know, build quality on both as well. Now on the 14 Pro Max, we are also getting that emergency SOS satellite mode. So that is something cool if you're kind of into that kind of stuff, that you have that capability, as well as crash detection on the iPhone 14 Pro Max. So on the outside, that kind of covers it up for the most part. Now in terms of software and longevity, this is where the iPhone 11 Pro Max may not be as great of a phone as the 14 Pro Max. This phone originally came out in 2019. So this is about a three-year-old, four-year-old phone. It's going to be three years old, you know, this upcoming, I think it already is three years old now. And I don't think that's a bad thing. These phones age very, very well. It's a very good phone still, but it's not going to last as long as its successor and its successor and its successor, which is this one. So with this one being three years newer, this is definitely going to last much longer. So if you want the longest lasting phone, this is still very good. I would say you have at least like another two to three years for the 11 Pro Max easily. And then from there, it may last like another year or two of security updates, who knows? So this is still a very capable phone. It's not going anywhere for the next few years unless Apple changes something drastically, which is not beneath them in my opinion. So we can go ahead and still have a really good capable phone from the 11 Pro Max, but the 14 Pro Max is going to last much longer. Now let's go into a speed comparison between both these phones. The iPhone 14 Pro Max has that Apple A16 Bionic chip inside of it with 6 gigs of RAM, where the iPhone 11 Pro Max has that Apple A13 Bionic chip inside of it with 4 gigs of RAM. So let's go and see which one is the fast one between both. Now I will end up doing a full speed comparison at some point. I don't really have too many applications that are similar between both, but we'll go and check them out. So phone call is 3, 2, 1. As you can see, totally messed that one up, and all the apps were cleared on the background anyway. Let's do music, 3, 2, 1. And you can see the 14 Pro Max was definitely faster there. If we go and scroll down, it's very interesting. None of the other ones load beneath it, which is very strange. Let's do health, 3, 2, 1. And 14 Pro Max, I think, was faster. We can try home, which I don't even have here. Let's do settings, 3, 2, 1. And just for fun, I want to go and click on the general and just see which one is the faster one. 3, 2, 3, 2, 1. Okay, about the same thing. Let's click on software update. It's probably going to be the same thing. Who cares? Apple TV, 3, 2, 1. And the 11 Pro Max seemed to be a little bit faster there. The 11 Pro Max was here. 14 Pro Max was here. Very strange. Podcast, 3, 2, 1. 14 Pro Max faster there. App Store, 3, 2, 1. And the 11 Pro Max is faster in this case. So 
not really too sure what's going on here, to be honest. I, would, I don't know. I think it may just be like some glitch or something. I don't know. But it's very strange that the iPhone 14 Pro Max is kind of being outbeaten by the 11 Pro Max. Books, which I don't have here. News, 3, 2, 1. So again, it's very strange that the 11 Pro Max is able to get into these little pop-ups like the continue button on the bottom, but the 14 Pro Max is kind of taking its time. Again, I don't know why that's happening. Let's go and get into notes, 3, 2, 1. Okay, same thing, the reminders, 3, 2, 1. Yeah, like I don't know what's going on here. They're both on iOS 16 too, which is a very strange thing. Mail, 3, 2, 1. And 14 Pro Max faster, clock, 3, 2, 1. Okay, about the same thing. Let's go and get into camera, 3, 2, 1. Kind of glitched on the 11 Pro Max. The animations are also much smoother on the 14 Pro Max as well. Let's go and take a photo. Let's go ahead and open up that photo. Definitely much faster there. Let's go and click edit and see what's going on. Let's go and do this one. Okay, not that big of a difference there. See, I don't know why the 11 Pro Max brightness also went down. I think I turned off automatic brightness, but it's very strange that one did down. Let's do photos, 3, 2, 1. Okay, let's go and get into calendar, 3, 2, 1. About the same thing too. Let's go and get into files three two one. About the same thing too. Let's go and get into translate three two one. Okay, about the same thing. I think fourteen Pro Max was faster. Contacts three two one. Okay, let's do Siri Siri shortcuts three. Let's do iTunes Store three two one. And the eleven Pro Max is faster there too a little bit. So. I don't know exactly what to make of this one. There was a lot of conflicts. So it seems to me that sometimes the iPhone 11 Pro Max was faster. And it seems like sometimes the 14 Pro Max was faster. Now, the smoother one is definitely the iPhone 14 Pro Max. With its ProMotion display, it's definitely a much smoother phone. And I think it performs overall much better than the 11 Pro Max. But it's very strange to me that a phone like the iPhone 11 Pro Max is still even kind of keeping up with something like the iPhone 14 Pro Max. So it's very strange. I guess we'll see what happens in the future. But I guess that kind of covers up with this one. Now, in the camera department, this is where things are also very interesting. Like I mentioned before, with the 14 Pro Max, very, very good camera. The 11 Pro Max was also a pretty good camera too. Now, triple camera setups on both wide, ultra-wide, and telephoto lenses. We're getting a higher megapixel count on some of the lenses on the 14 Pro Max. 4K 60 on the front and the back as well. Now, with the 11 Pro Max, back in 2019, this was a pretty big step up from the current, uh, from the previous iPhone, the XS, mostly because of the addition of that ultra wide sensor, as well as the addition of 4K 60 on the front. So, in my opinion, with the 11 Pro Max camera, although it's not like the first camera I would recommend buying, like I don't think this is like going to compete well with the current iPhones or current phones in general in this market, but it's still a very good camera. You know, you're still getting 4K 60 on the front and the back. You're still getting portrait mode. You're still getting a very quality lens for the most part. Like I don't really have too much to complain about here. Is it perfect? Not really, but you know, it still gets the job done. And for a pretty old phone, for three years old, I mean, it's not brand new. I think it definitely gets the job done for sure. But the 14 Pro Max, nothing really like it. I mean, this is definitely the best camera, or one of the best cameras you can buy in the market right now on a phone. And this thing has it all. I mean, this thing has a very solid lens. You have that, you know, way higher megapixel count if you want to utilize it. 15x zoom on the back. You have Cinematic mode too, which is really cool. That's a really nice feature that the 11 Pro Max doesn't have. You essentially have action mode as well under video, which is like a super stabilized mode. And overall, this is a much better camera. I'll be doing you know full battery and full camera comparisons as well. But I'll definitely tell you the 14 Pro Max is the much better phone when it comes down to it in the camera department. So in terms of that, that kind of covers it up there. And in terms of this overall comparison, I think I can definitely tell you the 14 Pro Max is the better phone here. You know, I think typically we would want to think the 11 Pro Max is better in my opinion for me personally because I love that phone a lot. But the 14 Pro Max definitely is the better one. You're getting better battery life, better display, better performance, better cameras. Pretty much everything is better on this phone. The only area the 11 Pro Max is really winning in is the price tag. You can probably buy this phone for like less than $400 if you really looked for it. So that's probably one of the biggest advantages for the 11 Pro Max. Other than that, I would probably, if you have all the money, go for the 14 Pro Max. The 11 Pro Max to a 14 Pro Max is a really big upgrade. But I also think going from an 11 Pro Max to a 13 Pro Max is also a really solid upgrade as well. So the choice is yours, but that's kind of how to kind of sum up this whole entire comparison. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, not me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out. Thank you.